Hello everybody, my name is Cats Games. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. It's been a while. <laughs> I said, I said to myself, I'm gonna get this let's play done quickly and everything. It's been three weeks since part two and I'm just, uh, I'm just awful at fucking making this shit. But I got a PC upgrade in the meantime and a lot of other stuff. That's what I wanted to wait for. And yeah, but we're here now, so... Yeah. Quang, while May's making her documentary, she's going to need someone to look after her. Her safety is important to me, Huang. We got this crazy more more online relationship. We talk all night. I confide my very soul to her. Then we have e-sex like five or t six times a night and send lots of intimate photos. She got an amazing one of me wearing a ball <laughs> I don't want to read this. Anyway, we're like best friends. Obviously, you're still a great buddy, but with her, it's different. We're friends. That one more. But neither of us want to spoil that by making a move and actually kissing. So we keep the cyber in cyber sex. If you know what I mean. Uh, the tension is quite beautiful. I'd blog about it, but she'd only read it and what we have would be lost forever. Then I'd probably have to have her shot. Uh, I know she'll be safe with you, Huang. You're good in a fight. And as my ugliest friend, I know she's not going to fall for you. Touch her and you're dead. Pick up her at her place in Bawa Bawa. Cool. I can... Something that didn't change in the three weeks is I still can't read. Holy shit. We found drugs. One ecstasy. Nice. Who the fuck puts ecstasy in the dumpster? Anyway, what is this here? Is this a mission? Stealing the show. I'm Huang Li. Are you sure? No. <laughs> is he around? No. Well, when will he be back? No. <laughs> no? You don't speak English, do you? No, no. That's just great. How about Cantonese? Mandarin? No, no. You're pretty short on answers, big boy. Is no the only word you know? Hey, only assholes say no. No, fuck off, kid. Come back when you got the stuff I asked for. What did he ask for? Oh, weed. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's free 200 bucks. I bet you my fucking dealer, Jamal, will have some weed. Wagwan, Jamal. I think this is him, at least. Hey, Jamal! What's happening, bro? You got any weed? Hell yeah. Alright, once again, we are here. Finally. We got the weed. The gift you brought me is greatly appreciated, Huang Li. I've heard a few good things about you, and no doubt you heard a lot of great things about me. No, not really. Ah, you must lead a sheltered life. No wonder you're working for that moron Chan Joming. Well, I can save you from that life of wiping a rich guy's ass. Working with me, you can play your part in saving the triads. Chan Woming must never become our new boss. He's educationally subnormal. Let me ha let me hazard a guess here. The only hope is to make you the new leader. Obviously, look, I realize I would say that being an arrogant guy on the make, but. Old Uncle Kenny ain't couldn't it no more. And Chan Kun could it his way out of a paper prison. God damn. Look, all the tongs favor me. I just need to get Shin on board. We have to make it so obvious I'm the best choice for that. Even that old guy can't do anything so stupid as to overlook me. I'd like to test you out on a score that's about to go down. You can be my new thrower. Thrower? You'll see. So wait, is there... Is there actually like a choice you can make, whether you can side with this guy or the guy with the race cars? I'll drive from here on in. You sneak onto that delivery truck and toss its merchandise over. Oh, okay. How are you gonna sneak all in there? Oh, okay, like that. Oh, this is just like that San Andreas mission. Uh, throw aim. Oh, you have to be very precise with the throwing. God damn it. Like, look, it's go- <laughs> It's going right on it, and then they just break. There you go. Jump off. 
Get the fuck in this slow ass truck. All right, take the goods back to Zo's uh, club. I actually forgot who every character is in this, to be honest. It's ridiculous how long I haven't played this. I know what I did in the last episode, but I just, I don't associate the characters with the names. All right, the car inside the garage. I pressed fucking trigger again. I know I'm arrogant, but let's be honest, I'm kind of incredible. Often people are a constant source of disappointment for me, Huang, but you have impressed me. Your skills, when compared to mine, might be nearly adequate. Zhu, I'm all for masking one's insecurity, but I've got to ask. Have you got a tiny penis? They can do things for it nowadays. That's the spirit. I'm talking about winning a war and you're talking about penal ag augmentation. Surely, Juan, this town is there for taking. You and me. Call on me again soon, so that you educate yourself. Uh, and since you asked, no, it's massive. Okay. I don't know why my character would ask that. And I think he's, I'm starting to think he's gay, to be honest. Okay, Chang is the sports car guy. Jack and Chan is the missionary. Master Chen has been kidnapped. They're headed for the docks in Boa Boa. Come on. We've got to save him or I'll get killed. Alright. I'm guessing the time limit. Rescue Chan from his kidnappers. Okay. Hurry up or Chan will die. I'm trying my best here. I think he went over here to meet the woman. We've got the kidnappers pinned down, but Master Chan is trapped in the car. That is right next to two fucking oil trucks. Cookie motherfucker! Burn! Irish killer, it said there. Chan's not there. Chan's car is on fire. Get a fire truck. Oh, Jesus. So he's cooking currently in the car, I'm guessing. Give me this fire truck, you pussy. Is B the button to spray? Yeah, there it is. This is just face one direction. Well, I want to use... Oh, there you go. Fucking hell. Don't drive into the water, Cats games. You don't want to do this mission over again. This is not San Andreas, so... Okay. I don't know how that makes sense. It's not really realistic, is it? Alright, take Chan back to the garage. Oh, for fuck's sake! I wasn't even looking. I was looking at the fucking tags. Stupid cops. Alright. That was straightforward. What will the tongues think of me now? Kidnapping my own car. Again. <laughs> this is all your fault, Huang. My fault? Give me a break, you moron. The gang took me because you knocked their driver out for of the stupid... He literally, he literally told us to do it. Oh, you egomaniac with your long memory. Get some help. Get some therapy, you narcissist. I could have been killed. Oh, God. I need to change my pants. Somebody take me back to my penthouse. Goodbye. You idiot. <laughs> I still got the cops on me? Okay, no, I don't. I think that's enough of Chang for now. I now know who Chang is. However, I do not remember this M. Documental. Oh, this is the babe. Well, if it isn't the star of my show... That's right, it isn't. I beg to differ. Chang's give given you to me as my guide and protector. You know Virgil to my... Your... Whatever. It's good to see unpre unprejudiced reporting is alive and well. I can't read, man. I actually can't. I'm sorry if the three words, but integrity and impart impartiality. Okay. In that case, I predict a real problem getting a job at a network. Like, I need career critics from a professional criminal. Come on, let's go to the docks. Chan's got a huge shipment of drugs arriving. I want to get close to the action and shoot my first footage, man. This is seriously authentic. Authentic. You drive. I'm going to get my cameras ready. Oh, you, you make my cameras ready, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Get that fucking babe back from episode one. Go to the Mel industry before 22.30. So that's 10.30. Of course, they gave me the slowest fucking vehicle in existence. 
Oh shit! <laughs> Tolls! Some reason there was a drive slowly past. Did I pay? Did I pay? Okay, I did pay. Jesus. I forgot they were a thing. I mean, it's cool. It's kind of realistic. Come on, Hung. We should get there by now. Shut up, bitch. You drive, then. Try my best in the slow ass van you gave me. It's fucking Ford to Transit, bro. I'm gonna take a look and make sure everything's cool. I'll come with you. No, you stay here. I don't know what line uh, Chan fed you, but if these guys see you filming, then you're dead. I'm willing to suffer for the truth. Don't get me wrong. It's not you I'm thinking about. What about freedom of the press? Look, shoot your footage from inside the van and keep me out of this. Of, of course, of course, of course. Stupid bitch. She's blonde. Of course she's stupid. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, women. All the women watching. All the zero women. Oh, Jamal's here. Two. Two. Two Jamal's. God damn. I forgot how you shoot. Oh, there you go. It's actually... It was just locking on. Hopefully some of them drop a gun, because I do not have that much ammo. Um. Okay, I just gotta save the blue guys, or the purple guys, from the yellow guys. They're, the, they're called the Yardies. I wonder why. Thank God for fucking anuses, bro, I swear. Come on, get these fucking crates going. Okay, this guy's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Die, you fuck. Maybe I should have kept them fucking alive, because then the other guys wouldn't spawn. Yeah, whatever. Who the fuck is Mel? I'm Mel is under attack, protect her. Oh. Why is she here? Jesus, man. She, she's almost dead as well. Die, you fuck! Holy shit. Trucks are full now, don't let the remaining steal them. I love how she just planted that fucking... She planted her camera right on like two dead bodies, that's so funny. Check that, Mel is okay. Oh my god, you killed those guys! What the fuck is wrong with you? What did you expect? It's not like I'm gonna call the cops and complain that our massive supply of narcotics is getting hijacked. Help, police. Our massive illegal drug shipment is being ripped off. Funny. Well, thought this one up. I did call the cops. What? Well, what did you expect me to do? I was crapping myself. You stupid bitch! Hey, you were supposed to be protecting me while I was filming. I was kind of busy, maybe you noticed? Look, if you want to keep that footage, you better get out of here before your, the cops arrive. That's fucking great. Now I'm going to have a wanted level probably and going to have to escape it. Oh, I got 15 acid. <laughs> nice. I'm getting fucked up tonight. All right, brand new... Dr Let's go back to being a criminal. I do have an email. I wonder from who. Subject tip off from Tuck. Who the fuck is Tuck? I'm not screwing you around, bud. Toss me enough green packs and I'll hit you with more weed. Then you'll know what what to do with me. Meet me over with... Oh, okay, so it's a drug dealer. Let's go. What does this guy have for sale? Damn, coke. Holy shit. Potential profit of 600. That's six... That's gonna cost me 6k, man. Selling it for cheap, though. Well, not, it's not very, it's not that cheap, but, you know, fuck that, <laughs> I'm not spending 6k on that just to get, like, 600 back. Alright, let's see, let's see what this dude has. Weed. Oh, yeah, I'll just make a fucking profit of 100 bucks for going all the way out here. Alright, let's go to some poor soul just to sell this shit back to him. Go to Jamal, but he's kind of far away, you know? Yo, bro. 
Is there too many people around for us to drug deal? Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. I meant to beat up the fucking civilian. Oh. God damn. What's up, man? Hopefully this isn't a fucking... Fed. Alright, bro. I'll sell you some shit. Uh, profit. Fuck it. And a profit from this as well. Fuck it. There you go. Dude, all this is just to get like 500 bucks. Still more than we get from like missions, so... Um, I can get profit of 100 bucks from this. And this is 400. Damn, the coke seems to be weird. It's like keep going up in value. Like the other guy's uh, market value was 700 something. And they were selling it for like 710 or whatever. But now this guy's just selling for more and it's apparently worth more. I don't know. Whatever, man. I have enough money. 7k should be fine. All right, we're going to do another M mission. I don't even know her name. Maria? Some shit. Factory fun. I wasn't sure I'd see you again. And I hope I would never see you, but I'm here because Chan's paying. A true romantic. Exactly, so you won't need to call the cops this time. Well, try protect me this time. I mean, seriously, you're lucky I didn't blog about it. Anyways, I need to get some footage of a drug deal or a factory. Uh, uh, Chan won't let me see any of his because he's told me about a spot by some Yardies. He won't let you see any of his factories because the moron doesn't have any. And that's not because he doesn't really have anything apart from relatives. Now I have nepotism as much as the next talent is son, but he makes all of us look ridiculous. And meanwhile, the idiot wants me to walk you through an enemy factory. Maybe I could do a full media presentation midway through, point out uh, the profitable operation. Okay, just don't let me. Cash flow, business risk, and so on. All the time dodging bullets, use a, a laser pointer to distract crazed yardies. That was funny. It's funny that Chan just has nothing. He's just a nobody. He just has a nice car and that's it. <laughs> and he wants to be a triad boss. That's so funny. This is the place. Come on, I'm already rolling. Do we have to do this? It's gonna get really messy. It's for my story. There's no story if we don't go in there, you stupid media whore. Drugs kill, Huang. So do gunfights, genius. You're ridiculous, you know that ridiculous. I really don't see why you're being so pathetic here. If you're too chicken, I'll knock myself. <laughs> okay, bro, but let me fucking get a gun. I didn't buy any guns or anything. I'm scared of running out. Alright, we're in the factory. That is not what I want to do. Use baseball bat to break the barricades. If I f remember how to change weapons. What's up, you stupid motherfuckers? Oh god. I don't even need to use guns. Uh, is there anything lying around here? Because I just sped up the game by pressing uh, trigger and I just, lo just pretty much lost all sense of direction. Fucking stupid cons, come on. Okay, just changed my weapon for no reason. Oh, they, are, they got guns now at least. Now what? Oh, there's more boxes here. But she's not filming this. Come on, woman. Some Yardies have smashed through the wall. <laughs> Just go in with a cricket bat in a gunfight. So funny to me. Mel, wait! <coughs> Holy shit, you got a flamethrower. Well then. Time to use the bigger guns. Now I have the flamethrower. You scum. <coughs> I 
Okay, this is taking way too long. <laughs> I can burn the Wii, that's cool. We must up the base, turn up the base, and make the fire roll. I will blaze the fire, make it burn them. Far Cry 3 moment. Yeah, we're gonna... Every GTA has to have a fucking burning weed mission. Not that I'm complaining, but... It's funny how I cannot set her on fire. They really uh, simplified this game for, like, DS and, like, Android and shit. Get the explosives. Where? Here? C4? They're introducing a lot of things. Here. Let me get the cricket back, actually. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, use a press to repeat the sequence. There you go. Fire in the hole! You stupid fucks! Yeah, I'm here, motherfucker. Who's this dude? Oh, he has he had a fucking grenade. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck grenades! Oh, shit. This is awful. They weren't gangsters. They were probably forced to work here. Slave laborers. Illegal immigrants. How can you live with yourself? I already hated myself quite happily. This won't make a difference. You got your foot, didn't you? I'm just doing my job. Why you have to be so hostile towards me? Because you epitomize everything too wrong with the media. Pretty dumb and entirely fake. Now move out my way. I'm going to open the safe. Well, at least you think I'm pretty. I, I don't know. I, I didn't read such thing, but okay. Uh, slowly rotate the dial until the mirror reaches its peak. Three. Nine. Boom. Hey, I recognize that dead girl. It's Natalie Vanet, Channel 15's ace investigative reporter. She must have been doing an undercover piece on this place. Oh my god, you know what this means? You filmed yourself aiding and abetting a known killer at work. They're gonna be... An opening at Channel 15. This is fantastic. I love that show. It's even more sensational than Weasel. You're a really classy girl. Let's get out of here. Am I gonna like fuck this bitch at some point? <laughs> I won't be surprised. Chan's not gonna be happy though. Well, fuck him. <laughs> is this Jamal here? This is a different place. Oh, his name is Bone, but he literally... This looks exactly the same as Jamal. Fuck, I'll take all the weed you have, man. Hey, I'm on, Jamin, you know? Exactly. Oh, it's a bust. Well, fuck you. I'm gonna kill you and take the money. Shit. That, for, for a second bust. Fuck. Uh, go to the hideout, quickly. I can't. Is that because I have a wanted level, or is that because... Fucking... The car was right next to the entrance. Getting too close for comfort now. Shit. I think it's because the cops follow me here. Perfect. Let me put my weed in the stash. Yeah, we have the acid here. Um... Micro value, yeah, pretty much free, uh, free, I think that was 300, I don't know if it's for one acid or for more, but it was 351, so either way we're getting free 300 bucks, pretty much. Flatliner. Hello, Zoo. Back so soon, you must be eager to help me make the new boss. 
I know when to back a winner. Me too, which is why I always back myself in business pleasure, wrestling, sex, you name it. I'm a winner. I'm going to take your word for it on some of those. Listen, I have an old friend being flown to the city on medical release. Medical release? He's a con, but not for much longer. You're going to free him and bring him here. <clears throat> His plane already landed, so be quick, get into the airport. I believe, like, I, as I said, the mission I was stuck on was some drug mission where I had to have specific drug and stuff and I could never get past that mission. Uh, I believe it was a zoo mission because I, I see zoo and the blue sweater and it just, I don't know, it triggers something in me. So I think that's, that it was a zoo mission that I was stuck on. Ho hopefully I won't be stuck on uh, because of course when I played that game I was like 11. <laughs> We're at the airport. Steal the ambulance that Yuri's in. Fucking hell. What's up, man? I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna take this ambulance. Fucking hell. Take Yuri back to Zoo's locker. Oh, he's gonna flatline. Oh, shit. Is he dead? We're pretty dead. To his heart. Okay. That makes sense, of course. I just honked the horn a couple times, and you know, his heart restarts. Every time they hit me, he goes flatline. So it's hard for me to knock out the cops. Shit. Okay, we're there. We're there, bro. I missed my turn. Fucking hell. Come on. There you go. Holy shit, I thought I'm gonna fail that mission. My old friend, I bet you thought you'd never see me again. Zoo, I meant to stay in touch. You owe me a pound of flesh, or Yuri, remember? Oh, shit. And I fully intend to get to the heart of the matter. If you wanted him dead, why didn't you tell me? What's the matter, Huang? Am I being heartless? I can qu quickly remedy that. <laughs> being heartless, get it? Two puns in one fucking dialogue. There you go, he got his heart. <gasps> now we've killed together, you and I are friends, Huang. Blood brothers. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Kiss me. <laughs> okay, whatever I just saw. Cool. That's fine, I guess. Well, let's jump straight into another mission. I think I have time for one more mission. Bomb disposal. In his final months as boss, Shin Joming is losing the respect of several major business associates dealer, dealers. These fools act disgraceful, disgracefully. Their obedience to our leader should be obsolete. Absolute. To bring them back in, in line, Shin is going to blow up the vehicles in which they've stashed their drugs. And we're going to help? Fuck no. You're going to stop Sheen's bomb vans so that I can safely steal the drugs. Then present myself as the only com competent operator. It's win-win. Huang, you've got to grow up. Cool. Get to the stash cards before the... Wait, let me get... Let me get... Maybe some ammo from here. Hopefully. Maybe drugs. Maybe there's even more fucking ecstasy. Moldy burger. What do you want me to do with it? Can I actually eat it? Enter the van and begin defusing the bomb. Uh, this. Quickly. Come on. Uh, use uh, use and hold to find the wire with the highest voltage. Maybe green one. Okay, yellow one. And then B to cut it. Perfect. The bomb has been defused. Give me this car. I'm leaving. Oh, this is a stash car, actually. Hold on. Fuck these guns. I'm not even gonna pay no mind to them. Okay, let's go to this one. The copper! You're just right next to a bomb with a fucking car with drugs, man. You're not doing your job. 
Okay. Yellow one, green one, the red one. Perfect. And then one more. Oh shit. Get in the car. It's right here. We're close enough anyways. And there's a, there's a dead yardie over there. Fucking hell. Alright, uh... Yellow, maybe? Yeah, yellow. There you go. Swiftly done. His men are attacking the stash car. Stop. I mean, that's like, it makes sense. Like, shit, they defused the bomb. Okay, let's just explode the cars ourselves, you know? Okay, you just didn't get run over. That's fine game. It's just gonna be fucking faster for me to just melee them. Okay, that's it. Another one is on the way, destroy it. Okay, I thought I'm gonna have to go to those same exact cars and just fucking kill the guys again. What do you want me to do with this? Just stop it? Oh shit. Let's go. How do I shoot in the car actually? I forgot. It's B. Yeah, it's B. Fuck you and your va- Oh shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! God damn, I just drove into that bitch and it exploded. What is this? My car is now in my drugs too. Oh shit, you got the drugs as well. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, hopefully the next episode is very soon and not in three weeks again. Um, we're 13% done with the game, so... You know, we're getting there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.